genius of the owners of this apartment was that they recognized, even though their furnishings and art were beautiful, that the person who ends up buying this apartment is not looking to buy their past life, but to imagine their future life. And at that moment, we recognized that bringing in Andrew Bowen of Ash to completely stage and redesign the apartment would be invaluable to people viewing this home. Andrew, welcome. Explain to us a little bit the philosophy behind your work. Thank you, Leonard. We always believe in bringing out the very best in any space that we work in. And this really represents the pinnacle of contemporary New York City life. This is a redefined penthouse. This is something that is connected to the city, yet above it all, anchored in one of the best art districts in the world. And so this is a true collector's trophy home. And for us, we say, how do we bring that to life? How do we show people that this is the place they've always wanted to be? The architecture is really defined by these stark geometric forms, which we counterbalanced using rounded edge furniture like this cabinet and the cocktail tables. Let's head over to the kitchen. I'm not sure if I've even seen a kitchen this big in New York. With all of this space, it's important for us to show the potential buyers how they can use it. Here we have our cookbook adjacent to the stovetop on the center island, perhaps where you make your morning coffee. And then on the largest L-shaped island, we have an area to serve your guests. We are in now the more formal part of the living space of this apartment, and most penthouses that have this level of scale are usually over multiple floors. What's incredible is you have seating for 14 to dine, mm -hmm. but you're all on one floor. This living room is defined by luxurious materials, symmetry, and scale. Now come over here to the best corner in the home. We have an unobstructed but totally private view of one of New York's best parks, the High Line. And not every space has to be so grand, like this one, which has a wet bar and built-ins. So we decided to create a music listing. I love what you've achieved in this enormous, grand primary bedroom suite, but I think what I love most is that it leads out under this incredible terrace. Many of the windows were designed with slight angles to maximize the viewpoints, and they don't quite line up with the rest of the home. So we celebrated that by echoing it in our area rug here, which itself is unusual in its shape. And in the primary bathroom, you can enjoy your own personal spa. Although the home is brand new, it's so important for us to incorporate vintage pieces in our work, just like this Eames chair. In this bedroom, we thought, let's create an undulating headboard using these bamboo screens. This is also a study in contrast. Bathed in a cool blue, we contrasted that with warm woods. And across from the bed here, you see this console table with a stool underneath, suggesting either storage if you wanted a dresser or workspace if you wanted a desk. And we're now in our plum bedroom, which is a guest suite. In this corner, we have a mid-century inspired kidney-shaped desk anchored by this vintage Rietfeld chair. And over here, we have our reading nook. So here we have fantastic kids' room. We celebrated all of this wall space by creating these hand-painted murals over the two beds with wonderful scalloped edge headboards. And over across from the beds, we have a few playful elements like these wooden blocks, a stuffed lion, and a cabana striped pillow. The entry gallery afforded us the opportunity to showcase large-scale art. And you own the entire floor of this building. So when it came to furnishing it, we made sure to provide plenty of space to enjoy each vignette that the windows provide. 